Hydroponics is soilless gardening. Instead of using soil that may harbor diseases and bacteria, we use an inert growing medium and nutrients which are simple, simply minerals dissolved in water as a food supply. Come in everybody, don't be, don't be shy, come on in everybody, my voice is sore. All right, this is the, um, this is the uh, ultraponics grow tube. It's a hydroponic system that we manufacture here in the city. Um, it's, uh, as just explained to the group before, within the city there's over 2,000 hectares of, of rooftop space. And if we were to utilize that space and grow hydroponically, we, we could grow enough vegetables to uh, feed the entire city population of over 2 million. You can grow anything. Plants that can be grown in, in hydro, it's, it's the exact same as, as, as uh, traditional farming methods. You can, grow, you can grow all kinds of plants and herbs. Um, you can also grow hydroponically basically anywhere. Uh, in desert regions, on, on the polar ice caps, uh, on top of contaminated soil in the urban city. You can, uh, it gives you the freedom to grow basically anywhere. It's, you can grow all, all year round, but I mean, if you're just relying on your, on your, your basement or your, or your, um, your garage, that's, you know, basically November. Okay. A, lot of, uh, a lot of the uh, hydroponic farms in the area, and there are some in Illinois, and they're popping up all over the country at the moment. What they would do, they would grow April through to November, December, and then they just sterilize everything and get ready for the next season again. So you're keeping the pests at bay, and, and uh, you're not. Obviously, um, some places do use pesticides, and some some don't. Um, we don't. We never put pesticides on any of our plants, but but it's good to go through one term, sterilize everything down, and then get set up for the next for the next following year. What's what's actually going on in the tubes here? We have our plants will sit in this little strainer. The roots will come down through the holes, and then what we do our growing medium actually goes in and around. So the plants are actually suspended here and the roots are dangling down through. Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. so that's really what's basically happening. You can see the roots. Oh so you can get a look at actually what's going on. This um, system is, a, is a, a flood and drain and a dripper system, hydroponic system. The flood and drain is, we have a pump that is pumping water. It's coming through here. It's running this way, it's filling up the tubes slowly but surely. If you're looking underneath here, under the tube here, what we have is this, which is inside the tube. The water comes up, it'll fill the tube. But when it gets over to this other side, what we have here on this side is our overflow. So once the water gets up to the level, to this level, it'll start returning back down into the reservoir. So it's recycling the whole time. So we're not we're we're conserving water and we're also limiting the amount of uh, water we because it's an enclosed system we limit the amount of water we, we lose to evaporation also um, that is the basically the flood and drain um, that pump will be connected to a timer and uh, when the timer the timer we, we normally run the timer for thirty minutes knock it off maybe well it depends really on your vegetation too but. Roughly an hour and a half later, you turn it on for 30 minutes, so you're constantly just flooding and draining. So the roots are absorbing the water while the um, while the tubes full. You don't want over. If we would leave the pump running constant, we'd be overwatering, and then the, the plants would the plants would um, be more susceptible to uh, overwatering, and and uh, you would get root rot and and stuff. So we, it's it's important that you don't overwater as well. The other type of system we have is uh, is the dripper system. The dripper system can stay on 24 hours. Let's just show you. This is a little dripper stick, which is constantly mimicking water drips onto, right down into the, right down into the roots, keeping them moist all the time, making sure that the plants constantly getting fed and uh, and the roots are staying moist. When your roots dry out, that's when you start running into problems as well. The plants can, it can have an effect on the. On the plants. Which also. Kind of plants the dripper system is it's nice. Well, you know, what you can do is the dripper system works great, and it's it's got for this past three four years, like it has more, more places have been using the dripper system, but a lot of places are going back to the to the flood and drain because the um, with the flood and drain you're you're getting you're getting all the roots, you know, all the the roots are getting it's flooding, it's going back down. The root, you're getting the nutrient to all the roots, not just certain areas where the, the dripper system just doesn't get around constantly around all the roots. There's 
hydroponics and aeroponics. And aeroponics is basically the same idea, only you use like a fogger and it gives off a mist. It's like a, it's not. That's right. It's, and, uh, I like this idea. Better. This is, well, this system here you're watching now is, this is the flood and drain. It's also called ebb and flow. It goes under both um, where we're flooding the pipe and it's draining and the timer's turning on and off. But uh, this system at the back, you'll probably come across if you're reading it as, as the dripper system. Okay. So what happens is you have a constant, it's a constant drip, just dripping onto the roots. Kind of and it'll recycle as well. It'll go back down to the reservoir as well. It, uh, Do you ever have to put anything in your water to like minerals or any kind of you, you know, there are additives depending on the plant. You don't have to. You can use just the, um, you can just use the basic um, three-part uh, formula, but there are different additives that people like to use depending on their vegetation. There's like thousands of them where it, it can be like, um, like uh, any kind of animal manure or even bat manure, um, like fungi right. and stuff that also, the, where the little microbes will help break down the nutrient and make it easier for the plant to, uh, to absorb. The benefits of this system is that it's modular. We can, we can make it as big and small as possible. It's, uh, it's an enclosed system, so we're not losing any water to evaporation. Uh, in hydroponics, it's said that on, on urban farming, if you're growing lattice, for example, it takes up to 100 gallons of water to, to be of rainwater to be hitting that lattice for a lattice to grow. Hydroponically, you can do it in less than five gallons. The advantage is you don't need like thousands of acres of land, like to be, uh, you know, you can grow more hydroponically with these systems in a quarter acre, and you can grow a lot more variety than you can with traditional farming methods over two acres. You know, if you look around, uh, if you go to a traditional farm, they've just got acres and acres of the one vegetation. Mm -hmm. But this, you can, it can be stacked. But it can be. still cover it. You can, yeah. Well, they, we, you can, you don't have to, but it, it's, it's recommended that you do. And you can grow in uh, arid regions. You okay. can grow uh, polar regions. You can grow anywhere, yeah, basically.